Uh, Tony Khan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, boy. <sighs> Just an, another fucking great show. Man, yeah, a, like, uh, AEW's been, just, yeah, just been, it's been doing what it's been doing since, uh, ever since this creation. And since, like, the start, you know, of them acquiring, you know, of, part of them acquiring all this talent. And CM Punk, <laughs> they've been really, really, since that, they've been kicked into really fucking gear on the shovel. Just straight up, continue on, just like, just straight up, uh, in race mode. And continuing and continuing and continuing to keep tremendously going. <laughs> That's what I appreciate too. So no, not to make this any longer than it should be. Let's so let's get into it. Okay, so yeah, just like again, man, just from from beginning to end. And well, apparently this was uh yeah of course uh I wish I was here before but like I said yeah uh, you know t tonight uh for uh, you know uh you uh hardcore already AW uh, stands the two year anniversary <laughs> well, that was a great fucking anniversary <laughs> exactly how you know if you uh paying tribute too for, like for, for your fiends or you, uh, the anniversary for your, for your show the anniversary for your show that's like you know started two years ago. And yeah, just like again, from beginning to end, it's fucking consistent. That I, I, that's what I also noticed. I like that about uh, they should do the same for Rampage, because you know Rampage is looking a little stale right now. So yeah, like this because I know they, I know they can do it, as we saw throughout here. Like just the consistency all throughout the matches. Oh yeah, I'm liking it, liking it. But yeah, let me get into it. <laughs> Just was so fucking excited all throughout the show. Yeah, I don't care if, uh, like I said before, I mean, like, uh, I just want to say, <laughs> say this, like, real quick. Like, I don't care if, I'm, if I sound like a dick eater or not. He's, like, Tony Tony Khan, you know, AW's been for providing what I want, and that's wrestling. You know, a little bit, you know, entertainment here and there, as you know, the promo, promo wars and the drama, wrestling drama, but yeah. Like, they've been providing us what, you know, what we wrestling fiends wanted all along, and that's wrestling. So you can, you know, you can show your ass and <laughs> try to uh, beep me all you want, but yeah, I'm just, like I said, like, I, like I've been saying uh, since the start of this channel, I've been, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna call it how I see it. So getting into it <laughs> yet again. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. Uh, yeah, just uh, uh, just a great fucking opener, man. Uh, Brett, uh, you know, it was like an eight man. I guess it was a uh, eight man. Yeah, eight man uh, tag team with uh, Brian Danielson, Jungle Boy, and Christian. I, I didn't know that was a guy named. So I called him a jobber. That's, I so I call people now who I, who don't uh, really haven't watched yet or haven't seen it all. Jobber. So yeah, uh, and they were uh, versus the elite. Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, Nick Jackson, and another jobber. Basically two jobbers, but <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, all throughout that opener. Just fucking, oh man, it felt like the, 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 I don't know if probably other people think it or not. You know, like other like other uh, fiends of AEW, or you know, uh, just people watching AEW, the, the, just watching the product alone. But it's just dynamite. Just dynamite alone. Dynamite feels like a fucking pay per view. Like, oh, that's what how these, especially weekly shows, should feel. Like, they should feel like fucking pay per view content. Feel, feel, yeah, just, just feel with excitement all throughout. Just powered, powered hype all through, all through the show. So, yeah, I'm just straight fucking digging it. Like that's what you know, Dynamite's been feeling to me lately. It's a, it just feels like a fucking pay per view uh, event. So <laughs> I'm all for it. Uh, that's why I mean, I like it. So going throughout the match, it was like a, uh, of course, uh, which that's a fuck. It was like a, just highlighting the moments. Of course, talking about the, uh, breaking down the match. It was a diving headbutt for Brian. Man, he's just like seeing him now too. 
from 2012, uh, initially seeing him uh, from 2010 to, you know, now, he's just, like, so consistent with it. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, like, <laughs> I could do this shit all day. Like, classic uh, Captain America. <laughs> Chris Evans, I can do this all day. Like, this. Like, he just goes out there and just performs, like, now. And just, like, and he ain't much more, uh, look like he probably don't matter, but pretty much the same uh, But weight. But, yeah, he looks like pretty much in greater shape, too. So, yeah, Brian's been, you know, of course, straight, uh, it's been shown, like, he can just do, he can just put on, he can just put on, like, classics all day, every day. So, yeah, it was that diving headbutt from Brian to uh, Omega. Then it was, a, of course, another, uh, they called it a tiger suplex. I like the, the clock, I like the, uh, these, like, new names these that they put on moves from AEW. I like that. You can tell that, uh... Like some of the commentary, especially JR, but yeah, some of the commentary on uh, AEW has a bit of creativeness when it comes to naming these uh, wrestling moves. So, yeah, I'm digging that. <laughs> and then we have a, it was a Swanton Bomb basically by uh, Nick Jackson to Brian. And it was a double choke slam and two roundhouse kicks by a jobber <laughs> to the elite. You know the the jobber that so that was on uh Brian and uh that was on Brian's Jungle Boy and Christian team. Then it was a suicide dive by Brian. Yeah, he was just yeah, Brian would just say fool just like did. Like I said, just doing like what he always does. Just like from straight to finish now. You can just put on classics without no fucking uh, no at no worry. And then it was um yeah, by the end it was a triple kick. Oh, that triple kick was nice. Oh gosh, like I like the the, the two the double teams in this uh, like during like the tag teams like they just like they do it <laughs> like everybody. It just seems like everybody in these tag teams and the AW just feel like they're on the exact same fucking page, and I like that. Wow, that's actually uh, perfect uh, chemistry. As they did, uh, you know, the lead did a trooper, a triple super kick and finisher to Brian. And of course, they won the, the lead, won in a match with, uh, Adam Cole over Brian Danielson for the cover to the, uh, victory. Yep, straight up certified classic. Straight up. And fucking <laughs> phenomenal opener. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, yes, yeah, that's all, like, uh, if you watch me, if he was, uh, watching me, uh, you know, like everybody else on Twitter, yeah, just like that's exactly how you should cut. Exactly how you should uh perform an opener from beginning. If you if you and you know if you're in the, if you're going to be in this wrestling business, especially as a promoter, that's exactly how you need to have your shows all consistent, just consistent to consistency, straight up bangers. And then uh, of course it was a uh, uh, basically Punk, you know, CM Punk. Uh, Basically, the telling of his new uh, another match. I hope he continues. Uh, I don't know. It seems like he's going away from uh, Taz. Kind of weird, uh, considering he just like started a rivalry with Team Taz. Basically, Taz, like uh, I guess like uh, two weeks ago. But I guess he's going on to his uh, n another newbie to you know propel. And that's why I like him. He just straight up just being. <sighs> And it may just seem like probably like some you know like uh that's fucking you know they got a basically you know a nail in their head like it's probably seeing this as punk coming back and saying like and playing uh a, a you know classic preacher and wants to give back to the you know the fiends and you know everybody wants to create new stars like that's but I, yeah I admire that that's exactly you know how if you that's if you want to do I mean you don't have to but. That's even that's more welcomed as a wrestler if you want to do that, and that's why I yeah I fucking I admire that solely about Punk. You know the real reason of coming back also is you know to help and build new stars, and that's what I like. <laughs> and to be a, he was coming to uh, you know basically uh, saying you know another thank you to the uh, to the fiends and just like uh, basically detailing his next match, another match next week. <laughs> And yeah, I can't wait too. I also can't wait. Of course, can't wait for the classic matches he about to have. You know, with dream matches with everybody else. So, <laughs> most definitely can't wait. And um, oh yeah, as you uh, I don't know, probably you see there. Of course, uh, it was another uh, promo cut, basically another pep talk 
uh, or Arn Anderson and Cody Rhodes. I mean, yeah, it was a it was a pep pep, pep talk promotes from uh, Arn Anderson to Cody Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, if only Arn Anderson was still wrestling, bro. And he was like st- in like tip top shape. Yo, he would be schooling these youngins because he clearly still has it. <laughs> when he just straight up, he he straight up raps on the mic, just like throwing pea shooter uh, bullets too. Even in his like his uh, little promos, like yeah, R. Anderson. I actually, I gotta watch him, but you know his work back in the uh, in his time when he was wrestling with kids. Yeah, he he still he clearly still can act like he can throw down in uh, this business. So. I applaud him for that. As you see there, he, he smacked Cody <laughs> while he was talking. So he like, why? Yo, he referred to he like, why don't you paint a star on your face <laughs> and everything will be cool? <laughs> then he was like, yeah, <laughs> basically, uh, bring it up when back in 2014. Oh my fucking gosh, when fucking Vince ruined Co- Cody when he fucking uh, had him as a. Oh uh, gosh, a fucking another basically uh, gold dust twin, y'all. Y'all already know. For you know, probably if you still still watched, uh, well, if you're still a, a AEW stand or you know, if you watched WWE before, yeah, you saw that you know during the time when he was uh, back in 2014 with Gold Dust when he was Stardust, <laughs> and then he brung that up. <laughs> so seeing that, yeah, that was kind of funny. And he like, you threw us away, damn it! <laughs> and he slapped him. <laughs> Uh, just straight up, yeah, <laughs> phenomenal work. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Uh, and then uh, going into the next one, basically another, uh, basically the uh, Sammy, Sammy uh, Gabrera's next opponent, basically you know as new TNT champion, he's facing him at night too, you know Bobby Fish, whatever. Or I can basically call him a rookie, to some, or you know, whatever. I, I didn't see him first time seeing him. So basically, uh, next, uh, Bobby Bobby Fish's next. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> Sammy uh, Guevara's next opponent, Bobby F- <coughs> Bobby Fish, and this is a good match too. Good uh, match too, because yeah, Sar- Sammy can clearly. Uh, of course, he reminds me of a, a bit. Of, it's like he has a bit of a. Eddie uh, Guerrero and uh, Rey Mysterio, but like ten times <laughs> exemplified. Like he, yo, he can just his daredevil skills is fucking amazing. Like he just did a drop kick and then he had a smooth just kick up just like that, as if he didn't do it at all. Just wow. Yeah, he had a, when he did a single drop kick. Yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait for more from him. You know, and then it was an ambulance drop. By Bobby from the top rope, that was kind of that was good too. And then it was a uh, basically his finisher, GGH, by Sammy. It was, uh, and then he got the victory. So yeah, that was a good match. Watchable to see, you know. Uh, but yeah, still a good match. And then it was uh, after the match. Uh, basically, I guess the uh, Dan Lambert and his team tried to, you know, of, uh, as usual, been jumping, jumped Sammy and uh, Bobby, and you know, uh, inner circle. Whatever's left of it, <laughs> uh, you know, Chris Jericho and uh, I don't I don't know his name, but I knew him when he was in WWE at the time. Uh, Jack Swagger. I hope he can get another run, man. Because yeah, I fucking liked Jack Swagger back when he was still, you know, when he first came to the, uh, you know, to basically I guess pro wrestling, much more mainstream in 2010 to WWE. If y'all, you know. 2010 to 2011, if y'all knew about him, and then he had a new, basically a revision, We the People, with some old dude, basically a political, political, uh, like old dude that's really like uh, all about, uh, I guess, uh, anarchy. But yeah, if only, if only he can get another run, I'd uh, appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, they basically saved, you know, the Inner Circle saved uh, Sammy and uh, Bobby from them. And, yo, that, uh, Dan uh, Lambert, serious, he had some serious heat. Damn, like, the, <laughs> the crowd, whenever he, like, uh, drop, he, he, uh, he, even, he can just talk. And they, the crowd just straight up fucking, <laughs> they started uh, singing Jericho's song when he said, shut that stupid music up. <laughs> they started singing it to him. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, like, if only he could wrestle, too, I guess. But he basically, I guess, uh, just to bring more heat in the uh, business, I guess. Yeah, he got he got that nuclear level heat. Like, the, the whole fucking community, oh, <laughs> if they, like, find you or they get a handle, they fucking string you up <laughs> on the cross. Yeah, he got that nuclear level. Nuclear level heat. Like damn, I haven't had I haven't heard that really that what since uh going back to the uh I could say nuclear new uh ruthless or, or you know, attitude or aggression when um I don't know who else got that, you know, for like real, real nuclear heat. Only uh I saw like, we can only saw glimpses of it was when uh, you know, Shawn Michaels when he was basically uh trolling as he uh, does uh, when he was trolling uh, between, uh, you know, 2000 to 2005, you know, trolling Montreal, you know, Canada fans about Brett, that match still, you know, that Montreal screw job. And then, yeah, that's the, like basically the only time I saw nuclear heat like that. Or you could say, I guess you could say Roman Reigns because he was hated at the time when they was trying to push him, you know, the whole debacle with him trying to, you know, Vince trying to push him to the moon. Or, yeah, so, yeah, that guy, he clearly has some nuclear level heat on him. Damn. That was a, what a, <laughs> that was some moments were there. And then, uh, of course, uh, yeah, Tony Khan is definitely uh, showing that, too, that he cares about the women's division, which I also very much appreciate, too, because, uh, of course, also he uh, made, he's making basically a mid-card belt, basically to, uh, you know, to the world, you know, like how, you know, women has a, a world championship, like in SmackDown, like SmackDown or Raw Women's Championship, and then, you know, they have like, and then like, you know, or no, I could put it this way, like, you know, when it has like the world championship or the WWE Championship, and then they have the Intercontinental Championship, that's what basically the women is getting, they're getting their own fucking, you know, secondary championship, and that's fucking amazing, that's terrific, I like that, because as you said, uh, I mean, <laughs> I said to y'all, but as I said, uh, yeah, i have very, you know, I'm really, enjoy I've been enjoying, I'll say for uh, going back to 2018, because that's when I first got a glimpse, it was like, I guess, three years uh, going into the removed or basically like basically in the women's revolution. But, yeah, I very much have been enjoying women's wrestling. Now. I fucking love women's wrestling. So, <clears throat> like I said before, if you've been hearing on my channel, like I love that they're getting, you know, acclaim and basically also what I'll talk about later, too. But, you know, that they've been getting their claim, their due, you know, their own whatever, their own. um their own tournaments, you know, shows everything about them that's about that's catered that's around them, just like the men. I love that, absolutely fucking love that. And people, you know, pe people who not behind it, especially like fucking, you know, misogynistic bitches, <laughs> then fuck off and don't watch because you, know, you don't have to say like you could just not watch and just say that you don't like it, but don't say like the mean and shit about it. So. Alright, so going into, <laughs> yeah, I just don't like shit like that, <laughs> you know, but uh, people try to, especially women's wrestling, when they try to put that down, they basically say, like, you know, it should go back to being, to the era, which were, you know, y'all know, I won't mention that, go too deep into it, but yeah, hate shit like that, <laughs> especially in wrestling, but uh, yeah, I can't wait, can't wait for more, uh, you know, tremendous moments, and, uh, you know, as Tony Khan is definitely uh, doing it for the women, you know, put them on, uh, just like doing much more for them, much more for them, so yeah, can't